coach has written uh, all levels and just received the results. Yeah, she wishes to become a lawyer. But she came to study here while she's waiting for her results. She was studying catering. She will tell us more about herself. Let's give it up for Lethang. Good morning, Lethang. How are you today? Uh, good morning, ma'am. I'm good, and how are you? I'm fine, thanks, and how are you? Tell us a little bit about yourself in two seconds. Okay, my name is Lethang Nguyenya. I'm a student here at WG Academy. I came here to learn uh, business entrepreneurship and catering baking in order to upgrade my family, myself, and my community. Okay. So, what is your vision in life, uh, Lethan, since you came here and you learned about vision? What is your vision? Uh, my vision is to be a, a top lawyer in the world and to be settled in Australia with a uh, 15 room house mm -hmm. and five cars. Yes. Yeah. Okay. As a lawyer, what, how are you going to help other people? Uh, I'll be getting justice for people who can't afford good lawyers and I'll be a good lawyer. I'll be getting justice for them and those who can't afford to pay i'll do it um okay for free for, for them free, yeah. okay so so do you feel you are now in the process of discovering your purpose in life because when you came i know you didn't uh, you're not sure but you ended up okay stop playing with your <laughs> yes are you now in the process of discovering your purpose yeah mm-hmm I think I'm in the process. Yes. And I've started. Yes. Uh, uh, like our results are out. Mm -hmm. So I have to take a step to go to A level mm -hmm. and get my A level a certificate and go to university. Okay. So did you pass your O level out of interest? You don't have to answer that live. Uh, I tried. You tried. Ah, <laughs> that's very good. She says she tried. All right. So we also learned here about spirit, body, and mind. So. Which church do you go to? I've been with you all these days and I don't know. Which church do you go to? Uh, UCCSA. UCCSA? Yeah. So, what is your relationship with Jesus Christ? Uh, I didn't get the question. What is, how is your relationship with Jesus Christ? Okay, I'm a, I'm a Christian. You are a Christian? Yeah. And you love Jesus? I love Jesus. And he loves you. He loves me big. Okay. Yeah. Uh, that's a good relationship. <laughs> okay. And then in terms of your physical body, after learning a lot about healthy living, are there any changes that you are going to make? And uh, yeah, let me just ask that. Okay. I think my physical body is fine. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> I don't need to change anything. Yeah. Okay. You are old. How old, by the way? 18 years. 18. Yeah, that's why I say your physical body is fine. You don't have to change anything. So, but how will you help others though? Yours is fine, yes, we can see it. Okay. Um, I'll help others by telling them how it, how, how good eating helps other people. Mm -hmm. Like, um, I'll be advertising on my Instagram account or Facebook. Mm -hmm showing them how it helps. I will start by doing it to my family, mm -hmm. to those who are fed, mm -hmm. to reduce themselves. Okay, have you started since, are there fed people in your family? Yeah. Have you started uh, cancelling them? Uh, yeah, I started, but they are refusing. <laughs> <laughs> All right, are there any sick people in your family? Yeah, my grandmother, she has BP, okay. pressure. So did you give her some cancelling? I did. She's the one who's refusing. Oh! <laughs> All right. So then you have to pray for her, right? Yeah. Yeah, we pray for Granny. <laughs> okay, so in the books that we read, we read three books, aren't we? Yeah. Which one was your favorite? Uh, all of them. Mm -hmm. I think I like all of them. Because mm -hmm. they, they motivate us in different ways. So how have you been motivated? And by what? I like uh, the book 
of um, thinking knowledge. Mm -hmm. uh, I've been motivated that I should have mastermind mm -hmm. in life. I should have mastermind mm -hmm. and to never give up in life. Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay, what is a mastermind? Mastermind is a group group of people who helps you who helps you to live up. Okay, ah, that's good. Huh? You answered it right. You answered it right. <laughs> okay, and then people, let's say in 10 years time, you are now that top lawyer that you want to be. Yeah. What people are you going to look back at who helped you to become the world's most successful lawyer? Okay, I think it's you now, the first one. Mm -hmm. It's you. Okay, I so let's keep me because you probably want to pass. <laughs> that's why you're saying that. What about others? Okay. <laughs> uh, I think Nomla Mapena. Okay. Yeah. Nomla Mapena. Is she? She's a South African mm -hmm. young black lawyer. Okay. Uh, she graduated in the University of Pretoria when she was 23. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think I like uh, I admire a lot. And who else do you admire? Um, uh, Nelson Chamisa. Yes. <laughs> yes, 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 yes. The yeah. president. <laughs> <laughs> I think I admire him a lot. Uh, I always look for him now, but I can't find it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, what do you admire about him? Uh, she's a he, top lawyer. Oh, sorry, he's a top lawyer. Mm -hmm. uh, he always wants to upgrade himself by being in, in politics. Mm -hmm. like he, he wants to be a president. Mm -hmm. So. He motivates, he motivates me that even if I'm a lawyer, I can do something else. That mm. is great. Okay. Mm. All right. Okay. <laughs> so, in our study of successful women in Bulawayo, which successful women in Bulawayo did you admire the most? Um, I got only two. Okay. Tell me about them. Uh, I think uh, Tello Matgeva mm -hmm. and Nasi Zochoka. Mm -hmm. What do you admire about them? Uh, I admire them because they use whatever they have. They never give up. Mm -hmm. uh, even if it, you have leak, you have to use it and you upgrade yourself. Okay. Yeah. Okay, that's good. So you also asked to go and interview a successful woman. Who did you interview? Um, I interviewed Tara Magia. Mm-hmm. Okay, have you posted your interview with her? No, not yet. Not yet. Yeah. All right, and then so you started, you opened an Instagram account or you already had it when you came here? I opened. You opened it. So what people are you following and who is the most interesting? Uh, I follow many people. Okay. Um, Tell me the most interesting then. Uh, cake boss mm -hmm. uh, and chocolate zucchini. Mm-hmm. Um, okay, so are you, how many people are now following you? Uh, on Instagram? Yes, Instagram. Uh, around 227. 227. Yes. So you're doing good. Yeah. You're doing good. How many posts have you posted? I posted, I posted a lot of posts. A lot of posts? Yes. Okay. Yeah, I'm a follower, but of course I will have to look at them later, right? Yes. All right. And then have you opened your YouTube channel? Yeah, I did. Okay. So, what what do you have to say to the viewers as a parting remarks to them? Uh, I think, uh, uh, thank you very much for watching us. Um, you know, if you want to become a lawyer like me, you can find me on Instagram. Mm -hmm. And uh, we help each other. Okay. What's your name on Instagram? Letangwenya. Letangwenya. Yeah. So go and follow Letangwenya on Instagram. Okay, what else? Sorry, continue. Oh, that's all. That's all. Yes. Thank you very much, Letang. Let's just go to the others and find out how they think she did. Okay, um, I think she did well. She was good. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Yeah, she did well. Um, she was confident. And also, she told people why she wants to be. She already find the papers in life. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we really, we are really grateful to WG Academy because she now she's now very sure of what she wants to be a lawyer, a lawyer.
Although she's been doing catering, yeah, well, as I said, she's going to be a lawyer who cooks very well, right? Yeah. <laughs> All right, thank you very much. I'll be right back with another one of the girls. But for now, uh, goodbye and God bless. Mm. Good morning, everyone. Yeah. Um, later I'm here, I'm going to be to have a talk with Noma. Um, let me come here. Yes, I'm here to be with a successful business coach, Miss Noma Ranganuri. Okay, can you please bring him briefly to tell me about yourself? Okay, my name is Nomala Nganyuge. I'm an entrepreneur. I own WG Guest Villas and WG Catering. I'm also a success coach where I coach uh, women on how to find their purpose, vision, and also how to start successful businesses. Okay, can you tell me about your vision? Okay, uh, my vision for um, as a success coach is to become uh, probably the best, not really the best success coach in the world, but to, to coach as many underprivileged women as I can so that at the end of the day they can also become uh, billionaires like women from Bulawayo. I'm looking at having some Bulawayo billionaires. That is my vision. Yeah, that's so sweet. That's so sweet. Okay, how did you start your academy, your WG Academy? Okay, my WG Academy is a place where I teach uh, young girls how to, about success and also how to start their own successful businesses. Uh, WG Academy, because I'm a coach, uh, I like coaching. So I thought, how do I also coach and also make money at the same time? Although at the, at the present moment, I'm not really making money out of it it's because it's my passion. But in the future, as the academy grows and I have more and more students to teach, it will start making money. And also I'll be then doing what I love, which is coaching and helping other women. Yeah, that's great. We are happy to, to know that WG Academy is her papers. Yeah, she is doing it to live on papers. Um... What inspired you to be who you are? Okay, oh, I was inspired by looking at other successful people. Like, for instance, my, my looks, I was inspired by Beyonce. Because she's beautiful, yes. hair, her blonde hair. So I looked at her and I thought, ah, how can I also become like that? Then when I started to study, I saw that ah, she's an ambitious woman living in purpose and a very happy woman who's always smart and takes care of her physical body. So, the uh, what was the question? Like, <laughs> uh, what inspired you to, to become the woman? Okay, okay. So in terms of looks, I'm inspired by Beyonce, the blonde hair, and then uh, in terms of business, I'm inspired by um, other successful women because I was I used to work, but when I was working, I was dreaming of being a millionaire. Then I found out that from working, I'll never make a million. So then I started checking out with the other women who are millionaires, what do they do? So I saw which they were business women. So then I decided, let me also start my own business so that I become a millionaire. Yeah, that's great. That's great. She was inspired by Beyonce in terms of her looks. She looks nice as you can see. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Okay, tell me, when, when, when did you start your academy? Okay, my academy started in 2019. I started with 40 girls. Yeah. So that one was a free academy with 40 girls. But then I saw the girls were not serious. That's when then when I did it again in 2020, 2021, I decided let the girls pay a small fee so that they become serious. Okay, yeah. that's great. That's great. Okay, okay, Noma, which church do you go? Uh, <laughs> I go to a Pentecostal church. Okay. Yes. <laughs> ah, okay. Um, um, what's your relationship with God? Well, I, I depend on God for everything. Yeah, that's great. Yeah, I, I love God and He loves me. And I wish I wish to know Him more than what I do right now. Yeah. I wish, I wish. You wish? Yeah, <laughs> okay. Um, okay, tell me um, about your... Your, I heard about your secret 
Yes. My Great. secret helps. Yeah. <laughs> Okay. I love the video. My secret herbs. Okay, so yeah, these are my secret herbs. I made them into a herbal tea. Yeah, so it's garlic, uh, turmeric, ginger. What else? Garlic, turmeric, ginger, cinnamon. So I made this into a herbal tea. They are, they are new, it's an immune booster tea. So it's a mixture. Yeah, it's a mixture of herbs. Okay. Yeah, it's, it's for general health. If you take this, it's very good for weight loss. Good also for colds and flus, colds and flus. And during COVID, I used to cure people with it. Okay, how do you maintain your health? Okay, I maintain my health by consistently. I don't eat meat and I don't take sugar. So I don't eat meat and I don't take sugar. That's how I maintain my health. And I also drink water every morning without fail. So those three things are the consistent things that I do. But also I have a desire of being more healthy than what I am, but the things I don't do consistently. Like I wish to wake up at 5 a.m. every day and jog, but I don't do that. Okay, okay, okay. So how does it feel to not eat meat? Because both of us, we love meat. Okay. <laughs> uh, it, feels, it feels good because I know about the dangers of meat. So it feels good to me that I don't have dead things inside the body. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> don't talk like that. <laughs> All right, I won't. <laughs> okay, Miss Noah. Um, uh, it was good to have you today. Uh, what last words are you going to tell my audience today? Okay, so I, I your audience, Maybe it's young people, right? So I'd just like to say to young people, it's important to discover your purpose when you are young and also then have a vision. Discovering your purpose when you are young is good so that you don't actually waste time doing too many things that are useless in life. But remember, have a vision and then start your own business and become an employer, not an employee. Employees are never millionaires, but employers, some of them are millionaires. Thank you. Okay. Uh, it's over now. Thank you very much for watching us. We'll come again later. Cut. Mm -hmm. <laughs>